This one, I'll begin with the word combination and talk about combinations. It's correct to say both A and B, or we could say a combination of A and B, but if we say a combination of A and B both, that's redundant. And notice that we have the combination word already in the prompt. So where both appears, that's redundant. And also notice that it makes sense to say a combination of A and B, but if we say a combination of A and of B, well, first of all, you don't have to repeat common words in parallel structure. In parallel structure, you can just say the common word once, and it applies to both. So that, that's a general rule that applies, but also in, in particular, something sounds funny about saying a combination of A and of B, almost as if each one separately is some kind of combination. And that's not what we mean at all. So that is wrong. And so that eliminates C, D, and E right away. So right away, it looks like we're zeroing in pretty quickly on B. Also notice that the correct idiom with the, word, the verb endure is endure for a certain time, not endure in a certain time. That's what we have in A. Also notice that the subject of the sentence, combination, is singular. So we need a singular verb. So not have incurred. Combination have incurred. That is incorrect also. And so that narrows down everything just to answer choice B. Answer choice B is free of grammatical mistakes. It is clear, it is direct, it is sleek, it is by far the best answer choice.